Name another podcast like this. Who gonna bring it to the table? Boss talk. Boss. Who your girlfriend favorite? Boss talk. We gonna do it how you want it. Man, check it, man. Hey, man. <laughs> it's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing official, Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Not none. You know my dad walk. Man, on. we got a guy right here, y'all. This guy right here, he been on here, man. People be like, man, you always be having him on there. Yeah, nigga, cause this nigga right here, he gonna come bring you the story, man. Yeah, y'all don't see me transform. <laughs> yeah, I went from an afro to little twigs. <laughs> Full blown cornrows. Rain water's in the <laughs> building, man. What's going on, Rain? Yeah, I'm right. Man. You gonna be bald headed next. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Rain, man. You hey, hey, man. I got a question first for Damn. Rain. I wanna know, Rain, why you like us so much? Or do you like us? Yeah, so? you, you always, always got that nigga called on me like us. You no, because you know why I say that? <laughs> why? There's so many other podcasts that Rain don't go on. Yeah, yeah, that's real. He I go on a lot of them, though. No, you go on a lot of them, yeah. but there's someone you yeah. don't go on, and I guarantee you, you have people who reach out to you and you still yeah. don't go. Younger is it. So, what is it about us why you come to us? Because if I ask them and say the wrong thing, I call them and say, please don't put that out. <laughs> <laughs> Some niggas don't care. <laughs> And Rain, you'll say whatever, man. There's a lot yeah. of people watch you. They watch to see what Rain. Rain, you yeah. actually, since I first met you and to watch your movement, man, you made yourself to where you can go anywhere and interview and people going to listen. Mm -hmm. All over. You know, I remember he said, man, that Say Cheese would turn me up. But I thought, I think a lot of them, Say Cheese the hardest one to be honest mm -hmm. with you, outside of me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I can't put myself behind, but he, he is the OG. But at the end of the day, you basically can go anywhere and do interview and it's gonna make make some noise now people watch it like cable mm. yeah yeah i meet people every day like, i be watching all your interview this and that and i know i don't be talking about a damn thing <laughs> <laughs> like bro you be so real like 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 and then my mama the other day she was like he telling y'all he ain't got no he don't he ain't got no laptop he don't know his next move <laughs> He said that people don't even listen to what he said. <laughs> Do your mama watch your interviews? Yeah, she watch her alone. What she say about them when she when when she watch it and she see you? She said that's rain. She no, know I know Brandon. That, that's rain. Don't let don't let rain come around me. <laughs> Cause that's the way she feel. That's her baby. She uh -huh. ain't trying to hear it. Uh -huh. Did she just like you? Nah, she complete opposite. Really? I'm the complete opposite. My whole family. Wow. You not like nobody. Your dad. Mm. Where is your daddy? No, he, he ran just, um, don't You know. don't deal with him? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Who mom, you look like? Uh, probably my mom and my grandpa. Really? My whole family stay with me. That's they crazy. With you. For real? Yeah. Why you, you have them with you and not to set them up in another house somewhere? No, 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 no. Family. Y'all like Hispanics. Hispanics do that. Yeah. I, I got a, I'm, listen, my, my house right now, I'm about seven rooms. Uh, I'm going to move in about 30 days. You gonna house. leave them in that nine, house? About nine, you gonna take them with you? Get another house. big house. Yeah, I got like nine, ten rooms. I'm gonna get a huge house. Some like acres and horses and chickens. Cause some people can't stand having you know your family members it's with so you. It's so big. It's just, everybody got their own section. They don't get on top of your your nerves. No, nah, I love them. I don't, I, I, you can still love your family uh, uh, and they get on top uh, of no, your nerves now. No, a, a woman to leave you more than before uh, before your family. That's real. But they said some sometimes they That's said real. blood thicker than. What's that? Blood what is thicker that? than water. Yeah, but no, sometimes some family members you don't need. Some family members you don't I, need. I got the media people. My brother, everybody stay with me. Yeah, that, yeah, I can't, yeah, I can't function without my people's name. Y'all never get into it? No. Because I'm halfway there anyway, but then I, I'm halfway there anyway, but then at the end of the day, nah, my, my, my people, nah, my, my, I stay with my mama my whole life. She can stay with me her whole, her whole life. But your daddy don't live with you. Yeah, my whole family. Still your whole me. family. Your mom and daddy still together? Yeah. Okay. That's hard. I, I you know, this was. A, I wanted you to come back over here because I want to talk about this documentary. Mm -hmm. uh, it's it's definitely uh, something that I feel like you know it, it's going to open people's eyes. I I I would probably feel better asking you that though. Like how in depth did this documentary go? Mm -hmm. uh, the Fifty Cent. Uh, what what is it called? Oh, it's deep. It's it's. Uh, What's uh, it called? Hip hop homicide. Hip hop homicide. And it's it's real deep. It's all the questions that people want to ask. Uh, you know, uh, you know, there's a lot of people on there. The girls mostly left the house. They really? They there. on there? Yeah, the the the, uh, the one girl on there. I was mad at first when I found that she was on there. I feel Which like, girl is this? The uh, Jossie girl. 
They're talking the girl that when he left her house, yeah. they and her baby daddy, her baby daddy was just so she on her. there. She on there. I was wondering what happened to her because I ain't yeah. heard nothing about her since. Yeah, I, uh, it go it go in deep details. Uh, you know, people were saying that she had something to do with it now, but she ain't had nothing to do with it. You just mow three too big be over there. But I have you seen it? Too. Yeah. You you seen the documentary? Yeah, you seen it. I had a review. Okay, that's what I was wondering if you get to yeah. to review it before it actually goes out. So, you basically did you you didn't know her either. You didn't know her. Mm, he talked about it, but I ain't know. I didn't really know them. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. ain't really know them. How long were they involved for? Mm -hmm. He don't. Know you said no because you said he talked about her. Yeah, he so talked I didn't about know for, he what he told about, you. I think he met him on face. They were Facebook friends, and then he was cool with the mama, and then you know it was a lot of shit leading up to that, but. Uh, uh, me and Mo three like two different type of women. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. What type of women you like? They gotta be mixed with white. <laughs> so you don't talk to no black girls. I ain't I ain't talked to a black girl since like damn near like 2013, 12. So you one of them? Yeah. Oh, uh, one of them. Wait I'm, a minute. I'm sc I'm scared of them getting Why? black girls. Cause they but okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. See where you just said. All black girls aren't ghetto. But so, I'm talking about just the, the majority around here. And it's Cause you can still have a black girl. Yeah, you still have a black girl, but I like mine mixed with white. Another culture. <laughs> I do. I like I, I wanna go to kick it with your white family, go to church with your white family. <laughs> you know. Uh them black girls, they come with brothers, they like to fight and shit. Yeah, yeah. They yeah. into it with cousins yeah. and aunties and they uncles. hood, yeah. They tell me white families don't do all that stuff? No, nah, they, they they peaceful. You got you, you must have went to a white Thanksgiving. So especially with the biz I'm in, you go go with a with a black girl and they whole family into to this rap stuff. Now they in this rap internet beef and then they listen to this, this and that, you know. So okay, so the girl that now just the Mo three thing. So basically, when she basically gets on there, is this something that you felt like because you've seen it already? You feel comfortable with what she was saying with the honest truth, or do you feel like she was? Just I know talking? she didn't set them up. She just Mo three two with two bees to be over there. Okay. She said it. My baby daddy was jealous. So it pretty much, she just told you what she felt. And yeah, she said it on there. She said it on the document. Yeah, That's you, how you, feel, you feel like your baby daddy was jealous. Yeah. And was that the first time you ever heard anything she said? No. Or did you hear about it? Before? I, I might have heard her ramble on and off. Okay, know, she I wasn't was, sure if she was going to be mad at me at first. And That's what I was hearing. Yeah. What you but she, uh, she don't know me. I speak the truth. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Nah, that's embarrassing. That's why I told her. For him be fucking with somebody like you. Wow. But as a manager, I always say you should have put a you should have put a stop to it. No, you can't, you can't put no stop that. to it. What what, 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 person, what people fucking with? You can't. I can't. I can't. I can't follow him to this girl house. We're a grown man. We're grown men. So it, it's embarrassing that that at the end of the day, it isn't that the choice her, but you 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 should never been dealing with somebody that that with the jealous baby daddies and you shouldn't even left your house. You should, was that should the, come to you. Was that the first yeah. experience where you felt like and, and I know you and Mo was was Mo three was real close where a, he was in a situation with a woman where he was like, ah, she ain't the one. I always <clears throat> I, I, I always three 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 was like the toxic shit. So he like to argue back and forth. <laughs> yeah, maybe maybe man we like them ghetto girls. See, them girls like to put that try to put their hands on me. So I like it. I like the girl mixed with white. You know, it's, yeah. it's peaceful <laughs> in my house. So, <laughs> so when you look at the documentary, because I seen, I just watched uh, Little Soldier Slim's uh, Soldier Slim. Three the best one. And and I'm just trying to figure out like. Cause you they, can't say that. No, they, they Mo Three is the best one. The Mo Three uh, Mo since he ever started this whole thing. Yes, because he just he only six episodes in. Out, out of everybody who done passed away, Mo3 name is still the biggest out of all of them because it's still ringing and there's so much shit on the internet behind the situation. You got, you got, you got ratchets, you got all kind of shit, you got people anticipating albums, you got, they blaming this person, they blaming this, it's so much drama behind the Mo3 name to keep Mo3 name ringing. Like, like really, at, at, on the cool, uh, you don't hear about King Von, them, or Pop Smoke, them like that. No more, uh -uh. except for this documentary. But you help keeping his name alive, especially with the albums that are coming up. Yeah, I and with you teasing for the past year, saying it's gonna drop and ain't drop yet. <laughs> it's, it ain't, it's almost done. You've been saying that for the I last get, however I long. Gotta, I gotta get it right. God, go. God, let me know. Sometimes I, I woke up in my sleep the other day, like damn. And I went back and listened to some old songs, 
And then I, I, I flew to Houston the other day, and I worked on it, and then I, I called a nigga, and I'm going to fly to New York and work on it a little bit more. And then by the time I get back to Dallas, I'm going to have a, a platinum song. That's crazy because I'm like, with a documentary out or coming out, like the this would be the perfect time no, to that, drop. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Just, uh, this is the perfect time to drop a single. We dropped the, we dropping the toy lane. The, when does it come? The sixth Friday, the sixteenth. It's coming Friday. Friday, the next day at twelve o'clock that night. When the documentary go out, boom, you'll hear the Mo Three and Tory Lane song. Okay, let's talk about that because I heard you say on Say Cheese that he, he spent a uh, hundred and twenty thousand. That count or what? Yeah, yeah, you didn't listen. You spent that. Yeah, then we go spend another quarter million did, on promotion. On promotion, it's gonna be huge. What's the difference between this one and the one you did with Murray? When you when, when I you ain't put no promotion behind. Okay. Uh, okay. Only thing we did was um, I kept on emailing Obama and uh, and people around him and Obama posted it as a song on the song. Really? Yeah, yeah he made uh, Obama uh, uh, song list. Wow, uh, that's crazy. Did that help? No, it's just it's, 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 that's it's, hard. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. I know it's hard, but I'm like, did it? You are about the numbers. The streams went up because he yeah, said he you about Mo3, numbers. Mo three and Moray, and then the streams just shot up. Oh, okay. People who didn't know who Mo three was like this, um, like this uh, documentary. I'm gonna mm-hmm. drop this. Then I'm gonna drop the Tory Lane and Mo Three song and all the shit going on with Tory Lane. But Tory Lane finna beat this charge. So I'm finna make everybody look crazy. You know what I'm saying? Why you say he gonna beat the charge? Uh, I mean, just the, the different facts. I keep hearing they saying that somebody else shot the gun. Now, now we getting the facts. Yeah. Then yeah, we getting the facts. They don't look like him. They saying that two two girls was fighting before then. They got witnesses. They got all kind of people testifying saying that they found gunpowder on the one girl, on the other girl. Wow. Yeah. So Tory Lanez is he talented as hell. Man, that nigga they're top three in the world. And 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 you feel like you know when you when you look at a Tory Lanez deal uh, for it, you you liked working with him. Yeah, he went in there quick. Then I he went in there and did the song. Then I sit back and listen to it in the car. And the next day I called him and said, "Hey, can we go redo this part?" Why? He said he 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 said I said I need you to put some more ad libs behind it. Mm-hmm. So when I take their voice, I can put it out throughout the song. I need some highs and lows. He 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 was on Facetime and he said, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." yeah he, he understood what she exactly yeah. you needed, and he went back in there and did it. How, how often did you do that? Like with Mo Three, was a lot of the different. Okay. I heard you was really into when they would be in the studio. Mm-hmm. People say you was really. I think it was uh, hands on. It right? was uh, my boy. What's hit, that? Hit that. that. Hit that. Say you was really all, into it. All my artists, I do that. Yeah. You always give your oh well, Mo Three. Oh yeah, we used to argue. Nigga, man, me and now I bring hit the whole. I, I, I bring hit the whole just for them to argue and be ready to fight. So be ready to fight because they, 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 we. I'm talking about we in a full phone WWF match when uh, we in the them studio. <laughs> and me and hit the end three and there. Me and hit the whole. We, we a team up on three. <laughs> And make him come out of his shirt he mad walking around there. Then he'll go record this and that, this and that. Then I get tired, I'll be on hit the I'll be on three side and then we team up on hit the <laughs> Cause he, he say he was like, Man, we used to get go in on Mo three and we'd be like, That ain't hard enough. That, that nigga go harder. Yeah, he go harder, yeah, yeah. But see, when it, sometimes it just we that I had to get away get away from our Mo three partners. Mm. Cause they'll be yes man. They go hard. Yeah, yeah, they go, man, that's, that's, you just freestyling. Yeah. Come on, bro. Man, we wasting our time, man. We ain't shit. I told him one time, nigga, you ain't you nigga little running harder than you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he got mad. He got mad when three three first started. Yeah, I'm little, you said hey, little running harder than you. Running hotter than you, bro. You got throw that he throw that ass circuit hotter than you. Ain't nobody wanna hear that shit you talking about. Nigga three. <laughs> so you go back in that bitch. <laughs> do you know what I had to do to keep my life so <laughs> You got it. Yeah. I got a question. So with a tour lane song um that you're gonna release. Would you say that that one is the hardest one on the album? Nah, hell no. Nah. That's the commercial. That's the commercial. That's the one that's gonna put the eyes on. It's the commercial, but shit. Which song is the hardest song? Way in the Water of Boosie. Oh, Negro's uh, uh, song. Are you gonna drop that one before you drop the whole album, or are you gonna let that come out with the whole album? I'm gonna let it come out with the whole album. So they gotta wait for that. Mm-hmm. But how did you even cut, reach out to Tory Lanez just to get, I wanna hear that detail. The twin. See, Twin. It's a nigga named Miami Twin. You know, I've been knowing for years. Okay. Right? Uh, twin that wanted me to do, when I was 19 years old, Twin that wanted me to do some illegal shit. You know, uh, some street shit. Let me say some street shit. Right? But, you know, I wouldn't buy no street shit. I was just buying some old white collar street shit. So, uh, he called my phone, you know what I'm saying? Then he sent me a $1,000, you know, uh, to drive down there. 
and uh, I I ended up going down the street right here to Box Spring Jail. He sent me the thousand dollars and said, "I see you in the morning when you drive down here." So I went down the street. I got out, knocked on the door, and they came through. I said, "Ma'am, I got warrants, ma'am. I've been I've been running for y'all for months. Take me <laughs> in." So he took me in, and so I got out. And I called twin and said, "I got my paperwork." I got my paper where I went to jail. They took everything. <laughs> they took everything. <laughs> so a couple months later, I got the run in my mouth. And some people know I ain't got down on $1,000. So I ain't talked to the twin for like 10 years. Damn. He blew my phone up for years. And then me and three would be riding. I said, that's that nigga twin. He said, yeah, he want that $1,000. Back, <laughs> back in the day, what you told me. So this before I made my three and that $1,000. I said, man, I ain't talking to that nigga. So after three died, I'm sitting in Miami. And I get a phone call, they like, uh, twin want you. Uh Tory Lane manager. I like, Tory Lane manager. You didn't know he was managing him. Yeah, I kept saying, I don't know Tory Lane manager. Everybody kept saying Tory Lane manager want you. I called nigga. He, I called nigga. I said, hey bro, I got I got your thousand dollars. He said, I ain't giving damn about that thousand dollars. <laughs> Come pull up on me. I pull up on it. Money bag, yo, and them over there. Damn. Uh, he he managed Boston Richie. You've been running from that all this time. I running didn't even know. Like a dumbass. <laughs> didn't even know. No, this time is time. It it's happened. time. Yeah, is time. Yeah, right. yeah. That I, look at now. Like this. This was the perfect timing perfect for him time. to meet and link yeah. with him. So that's the way it be, man. That's way God. But worked. you would think that because you knew the manager that you wouldn't have to pay one hundred and twenty thousand. Nah, I won't, I'm gonna pay, so I don't owe you nothing. No, that's real. That's business. I don't mm. want nothing free. I kept. I kept asking that. What? 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 Y'all want? I don't. I don't, I don't want no. I don't want no handout because I, yeah. don't, I don't want you to ask me for nothing. But that's going to be big for Tory Lanez right during the time while it, but it's during the time when his stuff is going on. You about to drop this? Yeah, yeah, with Texas. <laughs> yeah, 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 I got, yeah, with Texas. <laughs> I want fifteen oh one, nigga. I fuck with Carl. <laughs> I'm gonna take it back to Texas. Yeah, man, Carl Crawford, man, shout out, man. Carl is Carl. Hey, man, Carl just was on here and he talked about that. He say, yeah, yeah, he could get his money back. He said he gonna have to pay him, man. For what did he? What was that word did he use? Alliance? No, it was some like word it. he he used the word. The artist they ain't been paying him his his portion mm-hmm. of like the show money and all that stuff. He said he ain't got none of that from uh, Megan, mm-hmm. man. Not all this time. I vote call. Seem uh, like it seemed like he he seemed like he really loved the music because I'd have been and left it alone if I was him. Nah, hell nah, that's your money you invested. Yeah, yeah cause but he already lost a lot of money. He's he messing with this rap, all that. man. Huh? This rap ain't easy. Yeah, it is. Man, he catching hell with these folks, man. Yeah, nah, he he gonna learn. You from said this rap is easy, but you keep saying I ain't finna do this no more. Nah, I'm finna change and do something else. Nah, you used to say that all the time. It's a stepping stone. It's easy. It's a stepping stone. It's too easy. You know, it should come with it. So at the end of the day, you get your money. It took me six years to make a million dollars. No, yeah. it took me. It took me seven, eighteen. It took me damn near twelve years. You really? see, but the thing is that when people say they make a million dollars, a million dollars where you can put up and save and you don't have to touch it, or a million dollars that you have to reinvest, yes, you have to yeah, use back yeah. and we, pay we this and pay that. that all the people talk about, oh, I made this, I made that. I made that. Did you year. genuinely make a profit of a million dollars? I made that just this year. A so profit. it came all at one time. Quit. I made that just this year. There you go. When the floodgates open up, though, now it's time that you still, it, when you make money, like I, I kind of agree with Dame Dash. I When I make money, I. I'm trying to figure out something to do with to do it. it. He don't like it sitting. No, yeah, he got a. Yeah. Nah, it's uh, when you start making money, it's easy to keep on making money. Yeah, I make fifty thousand a week right now, just doing nothing. Just you know, uh, I know the, I know how to do it now. Yeah, yeah, I know the game. I ain't know the game a couple of years ago. I was doing petty shit. Me and Mo Three was selling CDs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and if I can, if I can call him right now and say, nigga, we ain't got fuck them CDs, fuck them shows. Fuck that shit. If you was doing all the stuff that you knew now back then, we wouldn't have. I we wouldn't. I, we it. It wouldn't. It wouldn't worked. Why? Like some things in life, you have to go through to get to the to where you want to go through in life. Like some people, if they had a chance to see their life and do it all over again, but want to go to the same spot, they'll say, "No, nah, I don't want to go through that again. I don't want to go through that again. I sure don't want to go through that again." But they wouldn't be the person they are. That's today. right. You so you have to go through it. Mm-hmm. So it wasn't nothing that we could do to skip the process. 
Wow. And you were talking about touring and all the stuff that he's going through right now. And I think about the music coming out during that time. What it made me think about is the R. Kelly and how he the uh, the um, song dropped and how everything. They said that wasn't real, but they it was said old. He didn't, I heard well, he said he didn't drop it. Boosie but, was jamming but it's so that crazy home. that it just fit exactly I what. I made it, and, but he's telling was, you what's about. Going on. You know. Have you listened to it? Mm -hmm. What do you think about it? Yo, R. Kelly a beast. They, yeah. they gonna make him sell his uh, master. and they took it off of Spotify yeah. and all once that he sell stuff. his masters, they might let him out. Give up, yeah, you gotta give up some ass. To, to you gotta give up everything, everything. You gotta give up everything, and they don't want they, he don't want to have nothing. Then he can yeah, come, man, home. come on home. But R. Kelly being as big as he is, he, gonna he make could that still right come. Back. Yeah, he could still yeah. come home, change because he tells stories. Right, right. He gonna make that see, right back. You see Bill Cosby? Yeah, yeah. They try to yeah. get him again. But they said they tried to try lock him I, back up. I read up. something the other day that said two other girls from they the Cosby out. show they came, came out. Came out yeah, and but said, that's too late, though. You, told, you can't follow the They're thing. trying to sue him uh. and the company. Suing is different than going to jail. They're trying to get him. Yeah, but that's cool, though, because at the end of the day, let them come out with another fat album movie. Yeah, it's going, yeah, it's going crazy. Mm -hmm. I thought he'd come out with one this time. I today. wish he would have. But he's gotten so old, though. Yeah, I, don't think, I think he just want to chill. It's his mind. Got to bring your mind. Yeah, let me let me ask you something. Go back to the um, the Mo three album. The uh, you, you said no cap gonna be on that thing. Yeah, no cap, Boosie. Who else? Tory Lanez. Um, I might be missing one. And how many songs? Like 13, 14. I ain't finished with it. Yet. But no cap, man. He he a different kind of animal. How did he meet? He would have been young back then when me him and Mo three did that. Four years, three years, four years. How old is he now? He's still young. He not. He was young. He first started. He, that when he first got three, in. No cap. Three. Mo, no cap was a Mo three fan. Yeah. So he that was one of his first ones he wanted to rock out mm -hmm. with. Was he good back then? Yeah. Have you talked because to him he, about it? I had I had to drive to I had to drive to I caught a plane to Atlanta and drove three hours in the car with T Real, listen to all his R and B songs and then. <laughs> And then went to the. Why you say it like that? Listen to all his R and B songs. Because <laughs> he's like messing with it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. T real, T real R and B man. And then, uh, and then uh, I ran to No Cap. How was it when you and him first linked? I said I need that Mo three song. He looked at me and said, he just heard my voice. Looked at me and said, we just got through listening to it. He said, I, I said I need it for his album. He said, bet. He said, hey y'all, give the writing the song. Gave me no. He called me if y'all need anything. It's clear. That's hard. Mm. Mm -hmm. And that was when he was first coming on up. Nah, this was. Dude, this was four months ago. No, oh, this when you read, uh -huh. you wanted to go on and put it out. Uh -huh. So you went down there. You saying now you just went down, just there. Went down there. That's hard. Listen to all T real songs. <laughs> That's the real. new ones. <laughs> <laughs> this man's is all the new ones. <laughs> Stop messing with T real. <laughs> T love T real music, mm. man. T real, he got a good heart too, man. That's he a do. good dude, mm -hmm. man. Uh, so what? What? What's different with this song as far as uh, all of the, the like the Mo three Mo three got some cold songs, bro. Uh, nah, what different, what's, what's different song? with the, with the one that you you doing now with No Cap, the one that's gonna come out? It talk and he say, "I'm gonna remain the same to the day they bury me." Damn! <laughs> wow, that's all. That's real. That's that's prophetic. To be honest with you, this album this album talking that shit. You think the album gonna make a lot of people cry? Yeah, yeah. This is the one he says sit in the dark and listen to the music. Yeah, and then and and, and then I get. have you cried over it? Yeah, I'm putting it together. Now, how hard is that listening to him Man. over and over? Because you and him being so tight, mm -hmm. like y'all was. I, and I asked Mr. Lee the same thing when he was doing Pimp C's uh, album afterwards. But how you doing it over and over again? How does that touch you, you when you affect you when you are dealing with it? I know what he want. It's a story guy written. I know, so, I know how he wanted, where he wanted. I'm, I know where he recorded every song, when he recorded every song. I can listen to a song and, t and let you know what year it was. Wow, you were that tapped in. Yeah. You was living it. Yeah, I was living it. So I, I know time frame he was in, what mindset he was in, and everything. That's why a lot of people don't like me talking, cause I can listen to a song and say he was talking about you. <laughs> <laughs> Have you let the family hear it before, like all the songs before you gonna put it out? Uh, uh, they ain't heard all of them. I ain't heard all of them. Are you going to have them hear everything before it goes out? Yeah, but I ain't. Heard, I, ain't I don't know what's all going on there yet. Mm. I just let this. I just follow the spirit. Wow, I, and, and I know already it means a lot to you because, like I said, yeah, that's your I ain't boy. gonna release no. You ain't gonna play with it. And, I, and all this bullshit music going around around the city of Dallas. 
Dallas, you know what I'm saying? Nah. But I heard you say in an interview that he has three albums. Yeah, like five. Is it five now? Yeah. Okay, so where does this one fall in the five that you're thinking about putting out? Like, it, is this one like not like the you leaving the best for last? No, I ain't no leaving best for last. The the, the time period when you drop we we dropping shit, that's gonna be like this next album gonna be a fool. Mm. I got there. Hold your tongue, remix. That's why I'm trying to figure with out how do you low. pick which songs you're gonna put on low. which ones. <laughs> that's hard. <laughs> and that's gonna be on the next album. Oh, next album, yeah. Uh, a lot of shit. Next, How do you pick which ones you gonna put on which I album? I follow the spirit. It's hard to explain. Yeah. Like it's some songs on the last album. I said, damn, I should have kept that, say that for this album. But like, man, y'all don't understand. Like, God, it's like songs just be popping up. Mm -hmm. Like I couldn't tell you five months ago that we got a song with Tory Lanez coming out the day after Fifty Cent dropped the documentary on mm -hmm. Mo Three. I wouldn't be able to tell you that. Cause the 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 Fifty Cent documentary wasn't even thought of, and Tory Lane wasn't even thought of. So it's just like I don't. I just follow the spirit. You believe strongly in God. Yeah, God go. God, God let me know what time it is. Wake me up out my sleep. You've never. You have you always been like that? Yeah. Nah, or just since Mo Three passed away. You, nah. You got nah, close. That's how I met Mo Three. I went to jail, y'all. I went to prison. And every day I was in jail, I got on my knees and prayed. Like, like you don't understand. Like, pray, pray. And a week later, God let me meet somebody like Mo 3. I wanted to be a rapper when I got out. Yeah, when I, I got out, I had a big old folder. And I could ask my mama right now. She probably heard me in the room just mumbling over the beats. Like, this nigga, I thought I was going to come home like a 50 cent. And you remember and be the rapper. Mm-hmm. And a week after I got out of jail, I met him. For real. But then some people would look at your life and the things that you do and the things that you say and be like, "How you know? You know, a lot of people love to judge. Who can you judge me by? You know, and they look at you like, how you believe in God and you doing all the stuff that you be doing? What I do? The talk, the way how you be talking and all the mess that you be in and people be, be talking about people be talking about how you be ripping people. You know, how artists be talking about no, people talking about how no you rip one, people off and one, all of that one, stuff. Not one person goes down. And how you janky and all of that. But not, but not oh, one. Damn. But not one person Let can say. I I can give a hundred thousand dollars to one artist to say I ripped them off. Oh um. Well. Um. Let me get in there. Lil, Lil Will. Will came out. Okay. There Lil, we go. Lil Will came out. What? That was two thousand eight. Okay. That was what? What was 2008? So you say you were a different person no, 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 back no, no, then no, no. than you no, are no, no. now. That was 14 years ago. You just now came out and said it? Why, why yeah. all the other that, artists that went, <laughs> went overseas and say that? Yeah. No, you, you just talking. I, I don't know. Matter of fact, we went to Hawaii, then Will was locked up with me in jail. In Hawaii? No, in Dallas. In Dallas. Dallas. Before I went, with the, the time I'm talking about, I was in jail. Right. Oh, okay. I, I didn't rip you out. You forgot I ripped you out then? Then after that, Mo three when I met Mo no, three. No, he said you ripped him off whenever you went. Why over you just there? said that fourteen years later? Yeah, he was saying that he it, it, he had to go in the room and get the money. Yeah, no, that you were no. hiding the money in the trash can. No, 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 that was my money. That wasn't none of your money. That, that was wasn't the show money. No, that was my money. So did he steal your money? He didn't come to my room. Look, look, we. He my, said he came man, to your room, roughed you up, man, and listen, found the money. Listen, <laughs> listen, that no, shut up. He, he just talking. Not, he didn't tell him. He just talking. Listen. Listen, why nobody else came up to this store? I call hit that right now. I'm calling right now. Hold on. I'm calling. <laughs> no, right. he he didn't come in there with anybody no, else. He every, came in there. Everybody would have known hit that room was right connected to mine. Oh, okay. Watch this. I'm a call hit that right now. And he ain't gonna lie neither. That's crazy. He said that. He said he came in there and. They searching for the money because you paid him half of the money already up front. He said, but then whenever you, he is a liar. But when listen, that, listen, 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 listen. I don't wanna. But let me tell you what he. So whenever, whenever. I don't wanna watch. Okay, okay, hold on. So whenever. Right oh, here, right here, right here, right here. Hold on. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, Kay. Hold on. I know you. I know you're the Island kid. Let me ask you a question, Kay. I got. I'm right here with Boss Talk One on One. Right. So my boy, e yeah, What's so up, look, boy? So look, Lil Will told them when we was in Hawaii, I had scammed them out. I, I didn't pay him the rest of the money. He had to come to my hotel room and jack me up for the rest of the money, and they found the money in my in the in, the, in my trash can. 
<laughs> he said I scammed them. I, I didn't pay him all the money, and everybody came to come to my room, jack me out. He said he he did he did. Hey, I put the play together. Yeah. I just had rain or running. So, one, so I didn't have to talk to nobody. He don't know that. It was hit the whole play. Hit that let me be the, the face of it, but hit the whole behind it. He don't know that to this day. So I'm did he get paid his money when he got over there? He supposed to got it up on arrival. Everybody got their money before we even got on the plane. <laughs> oh, damn. I'm going to call you back. All right. <laughs> That's wild. Told you. Niggas that be talking, bro. I ain't never got down on nobody. But they mad because my percentage is big, my, my percentage because I hustle. You know what I'm saying? So I'm part of, I'm helping them. Have you and Will talk like y'all been around each other we all was these in years? Jail. No, I'm talking Not about since. Her, like the last three years. Yeah, now, now. You done seen him? Yeah, but one, one thing one thing I have learned about the whole situation, people want you to make it not just not farther than them. So at the time, you know, uh, they wanted me to, they was cool with me, you know what I'm saying, because I was under them. Okay. Mm-hmm. But then, you know, it, 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 but you know, at the end of the day, then the whole Mo 3 situation, and I, I learned that from 3. I learned that a lot of niggas just, a lot of niggas just got hate in their heart. Okay. When you the man, and then somebody pass you up, and you know, they come with all kind of crazy stuff, but I learned, that's how they did Mo 3. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's why they in the position that they in right now. You know what I'm saying? Now, let, if, let, if, if, if you want to be real technical, I was more cooler with Spain. Spain was on here. That's, yeah, that's yeah. my boy. I like Spain. Listen, Spain. I like Will too, You still though. cool with him right yeah, now? Because yeah. I saw yeah. that online where you Spain, told him to come to that show. Spain is was the face of my Dougie. Mm-hmm. Straight up. Right. Spain was the face of my Dougie. When Spain was the jail, the niggas didn't know what to do. Straight up. Being what's called me, but was it Spain or was it Root Boy? Because Root Boy was I mean, the person I, I, really. I, 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 but, but but Spain was the face. Right. To this day, it. to this day, right. since Spain got in jail, they doing big shows. They like we'll re-coordinate mm-hmm. He needed Spain, but when he, but at the time he thought he was bigger than that. Now nah, you got to start. With, you got to start how you finish. Mm. I mean, you got to finish how you start. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. Yeah. You know, ain't, ain't got nothing bad to say about people. You know, I got my teeth done and everything. I got pretty white teeth around these motherfuckers. So I ain't got nothing bad to say about people. But, you know, I, I, I understand how three felt. Yeah. Three felt like he started saying it. Like, nigga, we was cool. Now, all these old crazy stories, they ain't never seen me in North Dallas and, and this and that. Now, now we I had to go to the hotel room and, and Jack rang up for my money. Come on. Man, yeah. it sounds crazy. So, so when you think about Dallas now and the way it looks to me, it's a it's a quiet it's a quiet still like like the music ain't I don't have that one hit. They're not man. hungry no more. Listen, people think it's all about people think it's all about music. They're not entertaining no more. And that's and and, and that's the hard thing about Dallas right now. They're not entertaining no more. They're not outside. They're not. They not feeding the homeless. Though. They not doing stuff that's outrageous. They not buying kids shit. They not, you know, um, they not doing comedy. You know, they not doing a lot of shit. That you know, it ain't no drama behind you. But, but you ain't, it ain't no drama behind. Or if he did this or he did that, like they don't, they all quiet and they too smooth. So yeah. a lot of people are not hungry to even get to the next level. Uh, I learned people. T- people been saying in this for the last two years, and I finally believed it. Like they were like he'll never meet another Mo three. I probably won't. I really don't have to. No, you don't. But at the end of the day, the passion of me with this music, I love it. That's what I love to do. You know, uh, I learned that you know, I had to go to North Carolina to get us another successful artist because uh, the passion a person got to want it. I can't be around you if you don't want it. I ain't gonna put my life in danger or even behind this rap shit. And they don't want it. How is how is uh, Baby C doing? Now you go, actually, we go to New York and do a, uh Thursday. Like, I won't be here when the uh, documentary comes Yeah, out. I'll be in New York. So uh, oh, we got the uh, uh, them label meetings, and uh, I'm back I'm back doing that, starting from ground one with them label meetings. So um, yeah, they doing excellent. Um, I really didn't want to do any business no more with the Dallas rappers no more. Even people that was surrounded by Mo Three before he died, you yeah. Know, uh, so I don't manage nobody else from Dallas on uh, at all. I was trying to transition. So and seven, so Bumpy, you, Bumpy not, Johnson, yeah, Bumpy Johnson. Uh, I like, I, I still, I like Bumpy, man. But now nah, seven and done, done. Now nah, they, uh, 
they you know they contract. My job was to do Mo three when Mo three died uh, to help to get them a deal and get them in the door. So you yeah. done? So did with you him? do that? Did you get them? Yeah, I got a deal. I got they the got deal. the deal. What about them? Dunbar got one of the biggest deals in Dallas history. So are you through really? with them? Uh, yeah, I still get I still get uh, currency out the the position that I put them in, but uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm for the managing done. part. Yeah, I'm about done. With it. It's uh, not over. Empire gave me my own label, so you ain't even going. They didn't not they not joining that label. They were Empire. They signed. No, I'm talking about far as I blessed them. They were Empire. So they basically got a direct deal yeah. at direct yeah, Empire, access. Yeah. Okay, I got it. I got What's, it. Yeah. You say you have a label now? <clears throat> yeah, legendary label. Legendary. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so I seen on the internet that like people was over there fighting about who the number one manager in Dallas and Dallas and this and that and that and. And, uh, is I'm it done. rain? No, I'm done with that period of time. I'm trying to have the number one label. Number one label. Yeah, that's a little, uh, that was that was a little rain. But there ain't that many labels in Dallas anyway exactly. to compete with. Yeah, it is. How many labels? Yeah. Sean Cotton got one, and you. Yeah. How many more? We head up. Wow. That's it. That's, that's it. it. That's that, right. that, that's all we need. we head up like Pee Wee football. I got so who's bro. bigger? Sean right now. Sean been around. Yeah. But let me ask he's you. just started his label though. It don't matter, but he he, he been no, he been uh, making some moves. Yeah, he'll you're he'll you're he'll you're he'll you yeah. he'll you're got a year on me three hundred sixty five. How many artists he got? Nah, he he dropping singles. I'm signing people to re- to to album deals. Oh, you're not doing singles? Nah, he yeah, nah. Why? I'm on some big I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to have cash money around here. Oh, really? I w- I wanna ask you about um just I gotta ask you about this. Um I seen Charleston after the you came on here and did the interview, mm-hmm. and uh, he would seem pretty concerned because you said that he was sick. <laughs> yeah, I'm just being, <laughs> I'm just being. He you know, explained it was on say cheese. He tried to. He, he was explained himself for three months. <laughs> so, so I mean, how are you and him? Were you guys back hanging out or? Nah, I never be cool. With, that, that was a period of time. Okay, I got an album to put out. I can't have it when I'm walking. Hey, I need a feature for Mo Three. Oh, you nah, know, you don't want that jacket. Yeah. I, uh, and you know, uh, you know that was a period of time. You know, like I said, he, he released it for free on his on his YouTube. Everything go to his YouTube subscribers. Wow! And we in two different leagues. Like he, he told somebody the other day, uh, you know, everything Rain got well some more three because of me. Uh, I'm I'm going to the Grammys every year. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> you try to get in the BT awards. <laughs> <laughs> and you ain't even getting the nerd. That's the easy. That's the easy awards to get into. And so, you know, I'm going to the Grammy District. And so uh, he say, uh, he ain't going to have no big billboard this year. So um, it's courtesy of you. Y'all can thank him. Uh, Charleston, uh, when I go to New York Thursday, uh, I got Mo3 in uh, Tory Lane. I got the biggest billboard down there at the uh, wow. Times Square. At the Square. Times Square? Yeah. I got like. The album come out like fifteen around Dallas. You tripped me out when you said everything changed when I got the change. Everything changed. Boy, that change rain changed hard too though. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, like I say, people want you to make it just not farther than there. Yeah. So like, yeah. people like you been under, uh, underneath there. Ain't no ain't ain't no um But that's reality. A lot of people do that. Yeah, ain't no wrong with them, you know. We on two different levels. I don't I don't want him to understand, you know. Oh, uh, you know, you talking about company show ten thousand. Now I down they blow that a day. Yeah, you yeah, know what I'm saying? yeah. My artists in arenas. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, so, I mean, is he sick or is he all right? Or? Uh, he said uh, if, if he was sick, how he, how he survived the gunshot. I heard that. Yeah. So, uh, so did you get shot or not? I don't know. I don't know what so, I don't know what I'm <laughs> <laughs> but, but he say, he said, I'm waiting on him to say what I'm sick with, so we go sue him. <laughs> so, what? <laughs> <laughs> so you know, at the end of the day, uh, at the end of the day, nah, he uh, a little choice. <laughs> <laughs> Rain water, man. man. So, <laughs> so are you going So what? What's what's the next step, man? I mean, uh, at Tor- after the Tory Lane, Tory Lanes, and Mo Three, and the album drop. Okay, what's what's coming next? All right, the album goes after the Tory Lane. The album drop. Then uh, I'm gonna do a book. I got a book deal. That's hard. And then uh, I'm gonna do the book deal, and then uh, the book will come out. Then we'll drop another Mo Three album, and then that's when I start on the movie. The movie. When you say the movie, is this the movie that's gonna be like I'm gonna go to AMC theaters everywhere and can see it? I'm gonna tell it out. 
But do anybody oh. go to AMC theaters anymore? Because everybody be on trying, Amazon. Everybody don't trying to put I got, it on TV and all the I got a badass Netflix account. Uh, 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 do you? Deal? Now, um, I got a bad. I, I, I'm directly talking to them, and that's why I was trying to put the documentary of Murder Change Me on there. Yeah, that was another one, man. And and appreciate you, man, because you linked us with yeah. uh, 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 with Mama Snoop. Yeah, that was all. Yeah, I appreciate you for linking us and, and yeah. you know rocking out with us on that man. That thing went crazy. Um, you know she was she was hurt behind that a little bit, but she's a strong woman, so she ain't really let nothing nobody say about her get to her. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. She been through so much, man. Very spiritual. Right. Yeah, very spiritual. But that murder changed me. She was real serious about that, and and she yeah, really. Yeah, we all we all was, man. You know, uh, I looked up Charles and I dropped it on his YouTube. Damn, like, man, you could goofy. I ain't even know because I don't be watching yeah, his yeah, YouTube. Nah, he dropped on YouTube. He dropped it on his YouTube. Yeah, man, them, them people, them, 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 mother, them mothers, uh, we could have touched the world. Yeah, yeah. So did he? Does he still have it on there, or did you tell him to take it down? I ain't. You just, you just, what you do? You done with it? It's done with it. It's out there. Damn. It's out there. Like about forty thousand views, fifty thousand views. That's it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I wanted to touch the world. Wow. So are you uh, okay? So so the next time I I mean are you doing anything for the Christmas for 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 the kids or anything? Yeah, on the 18th. Let me see. Uh, on uh, yeah, I'm up three mama. Let's see, she just texted me there. Yeah, the uh, the Mo three Foundation man. Y'all ever uh on Thanksgiving we have she had uh put together a good event where we went over there and fed about five hundred people. That's all. And um and on. Uh, December eighteenth, uh, three hundred, uh, three hundred, three hundred Kincaid uh, Street, McKinney, Texas. Uh, they got a big old um, bike giveaway, toy giveaway, toy drive, and everything. So, everybody, uh, y'all get ready for that because if y'all got some kids, y'all know some people in need. And uh, and it's in McKinney. It's in McKinney, and then uh, so let me tell you, is that because because Mo three from uh, from. His fat father and stuff live up there, and his mother don't she live up there? Yeah, she she, she live up there, and uh, that's that's why they you know a lot mm-hmm. of his background roots at. So. Yeah, <clears throat> so uh, yeah, it's a, it's gonna be big out there. Um, and uh, you know, let me tell y'all this: you know Thanksgiving weekend, you know Thanksgiving. Um, I went out there. I told y'all I'll go pay some people rents. Yeah, yeah, sure. And, and you so did. I, I paid. Yeah, I paid two people rent. Then I was. I got a whole camera thing. It's gonna come out, mm-hmm. and. Um, the last person, you know, I walked in there. and uh, Were they expecting it? No, they didn't know. I was picking the random people. Oh, okay. And I walked in there. They didn't know it was coming, so I walked, I knocked on the door. Like, oh. she got open the door. Hey, man, I'm going to encourage y'all as a family in need. Uh, I'll come and try to help y'all out. Come on in. Right. Uh, I seen a size 11 shoe sitting over there, so it was a nigga over there somewhere, right? And then uh, it's a PlayStation 5. Ooh, right. So they just not. Kid, it was hate. it was kids running around too. I'm like, okay, the kids. Then I looked in the ashtray and some uh, some doobies. Mm. Yeah, backwoods <laughs> too. Mm. Doobies. Yeah, them big old backwoods. So did, did you decide not to do it? Yeah, I walked out. Yeah, cause you know. So she I, didn't say, hey, hey, weren't you you I supposed snuck, to do? I, I snuck out. You snuck out. Because mm-hmm. you know I read that nigga over there. Yeah, he ain't doing nothing. Yeah, and y'all smoking blunts. Yeah, they kicking it. Kicking it. The kids running around just. Yeah. You not put. I, I've i heard of situations where people don't be paying a bit, but they have all the brand new clothes. People just don't know how to manage nah, their nah, money. Nah, it's the people in need. So y'all know people in need in Christmas. Y'all tell me real need. That real you know. Need. Yeah, come on. Because uh, I ain't got no. I mean, and I hate it for the kids because I be wanting to call the police. On, I, I want to call the police on them. CPS. Yeah. Cause some nigga over here smoking blunts, kicking and playing his PlayStation Five, and the with these kids, kids running around here, and them women should be ashamed of themselves. Should be y'all women if y'all don't have y'all don't need to have no kids if y'all can't control, can't take care of these kids. And they, so some of these women they having kids, they having kids for the hell of it. For they looking for love. Yeah, yeah. Or some they, some women just looking for child support. Real talk. That ain't shit. Not at all. Yeah, right. So I really want to call police on some of these people. These people. They call, if they ever see me rainwater snitching, y'all want to call police on some of these parents 
that don't have no reason to have any damn kids. I gotta ask you about uh, uh, you taking care of all your kids. Yeah, <laughs> I gotta ask. Yeah, not, 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 everybody stay with me. I gotta ask you everybody, about. It. I'm trying. Everybody stay with me. If I have some more kids, I'm trying my best. But everybody stay with me. You like this. everybody can't stay with you. Yeah, you see home alone. So okay, so let me ask you a question. You said everybody. Are you having all these kids by the same woman? No, I done slipped up over, over the years. Okay, so everybody can't stay with you because the, the mamas can't stay with you. Man, I be but the mamas, man. <laughs> I, it was something I was gonna ask you about, man. I know I, I was gonna ask you about taking care of the uh, the um, you know, as far as the the doing things at the first of the year. I definitely gotta have you back on the show for sure. Now I, I, mean, really I, I have slipped though. <clears throat> I apologize though. Uh, I ain't I ain't did I ain't did a lot like I should be for Rolly kids. I, I bombed some once a okay. year. Okay, I do. I bombed some once a year, and I just sat back and thought man, about R.P. it. R.P. Raleigh, man. I, I, I sit back and thought about it today, riding around. I'm like, everybody be, mo three kids filthy rich. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Retarded rich. Like, yeah, they got more money than a lot of people' daddies. But um, uh, I think the world and the city of Dallas forgot about Raleigh. They're not talking about I him as it. much. I get, as I get where you're coming from too. Yeah, yeah. Who is there to keep his name alive? It, it's up to me. You understand what it's like? How you yeah. keeping mo- yeah. three name, name alive? alive? And then I forgot about Roy Lee. I ain't you, forget about Roy Lee. Just going through something though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And 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 so you know, uh, you know, uh, how old are his kids? Really got twin. Really got five kids. So every year I try to every year I do try to buy him something, but then uh, and then people they, they I, I remember them saying that uh. Ryan don't do this for this kid. Ryan, this kid, well, the, the focus should be on Roy Lee kids. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, his his movie that was on before he died that was on uh, Stars last week, last month. And yeah, I'm sitting there watching this movie. And Roy Lee pop up at the, in the movie. Yeah, out of nowhere, like I, I said, yeah. And uh, that's why I sometimes be mad about city of Dallas. I say sometimes y'all yeah, heard me say fuck Dallas. But when when Mo three passed away. Uh, from Chris Go to even even Big D the Mogul, like when you went on his show, your numbers went crazy on that show. Um, uh, you you basically one of the one of the reasons, like a lot of times, ratchet out of them. Yeah, but when, when you look at what you done during that time, it helped. To me, it helped shine light on the, a lot of the blogging. Yeah, like situation. Even, even my partner uh, locked up right now, negative son. Yeah, that I, I seen that. Yeah, negative son was a single father. He uh. He raises a little girl by itself. And you know, uh it's a lot it's one thing I can say about this and how we connect I connect with the type of people. Mo three fans go through something. Yeah. They be going through something. But it because you 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 was loving the way he talk about that pain, but that that connect with people. So. Yeah, so nigga for sure, yeah, nobody knew that uh he was a single father. He had to wake up. Take his little girl to school. Kiss the bus to work. Ride the bus back. To go pick her back up. Mm-hmm. And he could drive too, but he caught the bus every day. Why is it a single father? Where's the mom? Uh, uh, she was no good. She left from there. She didn't care. You didn't really see his face until after all that stuff yeah. started happening. Yeah, she she didn't care. So the negative son was a good person. He was crazy. But he gonna get out though, ain't he? Mm-hmm. He got uh. That's a shoot. Mm-hmm. Who's taking care of his child now? I don't know, and I know he ain't call he ain't call nobody phone right now. So I know he probably feels so he ain't call nobody. Uh uh-uh. uh. I, I we ain't, I I knew something was wrong because he it was about three four weeks went by, and he normally call you. Yeah, he don't call. He would tell me he always call me mad at in the city of Dallas fucked up, bro. I made it one day. Yeah. He was mad at me. Yeah, they said he think he want to be a celebrity. I'm like, man, I can't believe he. I don't know nobody, but my fan, my you know who went in on him for me. Who? The people who shop at this store, because I'm yeah. just a regular nigga, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It was my my people, but it's because a lot of people, I'm going to be honest with you, something my brother told me earlier today, people don't really hate on people that ain't doing better than them. Mm-hmm. Is that real? Mm-hmm. That's what you were saying earlier. They want you to make it. <laughs> just not farther than them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, but I, think you I never up. do trip, like when people talk, I know, I hear a lot of things. People tell me all this stuff about us because we, you know, the numbers going up. 
I never pay attention. I'm too busy focusing on like you I'm and trying to, trying to get with the people who mm -hmm. I know you know that's connecting with the show. Because mm -hmm. I feel like if you focus on other things, you lose where you at. You can't focus on that. You're right. Am I right? Yeah. So I, I I'm gonna nah. call y'all up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, nigga, the son. He, uh, he, I, don't, I think I don't know where his daughter is. Now. I, I hate it for him. Well, you gotta you gotta try to find that out because he was linking with you. He didn't link with everybody. Yeah, I only met him one time. Oh, you only met. He was real secluded, like with his situation. Yeah, I'm. Do real you know secluded. his mama or? No, uh, he, he always say he was in this world by himself. What? Nah, he was. A real, yeah, he was a real individual. He was. Did you know where he lived? Nah, I, don't, I don't knew his apartments. I didn't know where is it though. Oh, okay. Wow. I was gonna say you should go by there and go, you know, check and make sure. Try to find out where the baby mm -hmm. at. I think God, God has a way. Well, you got you got to understand though. The the the, the people will pick her up, bro. Yeah, I know. What you I, mean? I'm talking about the the the, the government, the, 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 the CPS? CPS, and all that. They'll child protect serve. They'll mm -hmm. take them in. You know what I'm saying? So, but you don't want that child in the system, though. You don't. But what do you do? You can't what leave you at do? the apartment. Yeah. Oh, she's seven. She's just seven. Mm -hmm. Or oh, six. One of y'all. She's a young baby. So are you? Uh, I think I think it happened right in front of her. Really? Yeah. yeah because he was it, at that trampoline. He always with her. Yeah, every day he with his daughter. He, but the place where he was, it's a kid friendly place, so you yeah. know that that's what it was. Wow, that's crazy. I, and I ain't gonna even ask because I didn't ask you about takeoff and all that stuff because you ain't been on here since then. Uh, but so many times people ask about that stuff, man. But I, I can say yeah, the guy that they done picked up uh, when it did happen, I wouldn't have never. Ain't he a DJ or something? Yeah, DJ, I'm my partner. So you know the dude. How long you've known him? Like four or five years. He's he the first person to brought Mo3 to Houston. He the first person to interview Mo3 in Houston on ninety three point seven the radio the box with uh, OG Ron C. So you know, no, I him. know him, know him. Do you think he's capable of doing what they said he did? Uh, uh I I know he is, I, and but I I know he go do it for a reason. So you don't you? Oh, I get it. W one guy had came in the club and I think they was trying to sh kill shoot him and he ended up killing him. He already caught a he already got a murder a murder had a murder. He already caught a body. Damn. He beat so the you torch. think his life was because you think like, it was more self defense? I know I can see the look on his face. Look like he he not worried. Then they came and said he need a private investigator. So now the question is who shot first? Do so you think he gonna get off? Yeah, Pat Smart. Pat won't just do that. Wow. So <clears throat> I think, man, like I said, with with all the rap, they don't. Don't it ain't it alarming how many different situations all together is always happening around the rap world? I, well, I don't, I, listen, I I don't want no more rappers that's beefing. But you done said a lot of times, like, who want to be a rapper, put their kids yeah, in Yeah, who want a rapper? That's why I don't want to be no rapper that, you know, rapping that's beefing. They don't start off beefing. It <laughs> comes, it, it, it's like they're they're doing yeah. good, and as you rise up, the beef comes. Yeah, but So see, you can't nah, say that. But you just got to know how to conduct yourself. And, 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 and you say you can't control them. Uh, you gotta know how to conduct themselves, and then you gotta understand what a rapper want and what they surround themselves into uh, around what they surround themselves with. So you know, at the end of the day, uh, you upcoming rappers, if you involved in beefs, you can't go to no club to promote your shit. You can't go to uh, no album release parties. You can't go talk to no DJ. I don't want them type of rappers. You know, I don't want to have to do it, and I know you ain't going to do it for yourself. Would you ever drift out of the genre of rap and, you know, yeah. deal with more yeah. maybe country or country. r and or I'm kind of understanding. Mm. I'm understanding now. I understand the bigger picture. When you get a little money, you know, everything starts changing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I wanted to ask you about, about uh, Desi Banks. And that I've seen him in a vi video with. Did you set that up? Well, did Boosie. you know about that with Mo Three? Mo Three, Mo Three boosting. Yeah, I said, yeah. Oh, I made the phone call. What? How have you with with his career the way it's, it's been excelling? Like he got his show, he doing his comedy shows. Do you? you did you expect to see him rising? Like yeah, that? Mo Three was a real friend. He kept calling, right, right getting in contact with Dizzy. So we pulled up and we shot everything in a hotel parking lot. The little blue car they was working on, that was my car. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah they still cool. Look, two people, matter of fact, the realest people that, that I have met being in this 
uh, entertainment business or the comedians. So mm. Dez in DC? Yeah, DC a real nigga. DC seemed like a real, he really enjoyed being around yeah. Mo3. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They laugh and they talking, they laugh and just go on each other. DC, when after DC, after Mo3 died, DC was on the, the, the first person to reach out and he said, bro, I made this much, but uh, Mo3, uh, how can I uh, get it to y'all? Wow. That's heavy. Yeah. So nobody else was doing that like that? Mm. Nah. Nah, yeah, nah. That's 100, bro. Yeah, DC a real name. I always see him, man. Them boys, man. Shout out to Carlos Miller because you know he been on Boss Talk One One. But I yeah. got to get DC Young Fly, uh, yeah. and and Chico Bean. I like all three of them. Yeah, that's right. Now Carlos, I fuck with Carlos. Carlos go like them pictures for me, and you know, I get my I, them comedians be the real, the real, the real realest guy. ones, man. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, I like them. Like, uh, like it be them rappers. Yeah, mm-hmm. it be them rappers. They, they, act, it's like they gotta act like something. Mm-hmm. Just be yourself. Yeah, laugh, talk. You can yeah. be, you can, you can, you can show people your family, man. Man, I, I think Kevin, show. Kevin Gates did that a lot, though. He showed people he was a family. Yeah, man. I, some of them rappers they be trying to Boosie, Boosie do that a lot. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. But let me ask you a question: Does it come with? Because you know, when you think about rap, a lot of stuff come with rap, and we blame a lot of things on it. When you see all these different killings and murders and whatever, you see it in the rap industry. You don't see it in a lot of other, you know, Country. music mm-hmm. um, genre, but is it black rappers or is it like do you see that in other rappers of other yeah ethnicities? i'm starting to see it now i had this white boy from arkansas uh come on my damn live type of shit. his teeth and i go back i went to, he got he got diamonds in his teeth and i go back and look at his facebook page his teeth were pretty white straight why you got them diamonds in your mouth Take that shit out. They trying to be I'm hood. Like fat boy, take they that shit out. Hood, yeah. man. They feel like yeah. rap comes with a certain image. That's now, what they feel. Now, look. But it's changing now because everybody's getting them veneers now. Yeah. A lot of people taking out yeah. them yeah. grills and stuff. Everybody doing veneers. I'll, except uh, except one, one of my old rappers came from Dallas. He needs some. <laughs> look, uh, <laughs> he just took the money, so he got, got some veneers. Look, <laughs> this nigga, why? Look, uh, 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 what's, uh, if they, especially the, the Caucasian uh, white boys, mm-hmm. they don't have to act hood. The number one Caucasian rapper the white boy that ever Eminem. came is Eminem because he was his fucking self. Mm-hmm. That's real. And the number and the one the number one rapper in that in, in, in the rapper not in Dallas Texas in the world right now is Drake because he's his fucking self. That's real. That's hard. Too. And he look, not acting. And he not hard. And you just be yourself. That's it. Just be yourself. They won't do Niggas it. Niggas throw their life away trying to be like a thug. They won't do it. Yeah. But and that's the funny thing. Drake, because of who he is and how he, he moved, you would think that a lot of people would look up to him and try to be like that, but they're not. No, they wanna be. They, they wanna be the gangster, they be the, the well, I done seen niggas sip lean and it, that shit don't do you ever sip lean before? Never. That shit don't do this shit to me. You taste it? Yeah, they don't do shit to me, but niggas You don't get high or nah, not. I don't I'll be thirsty. I be, I, I, I was drinking the shit out of that shit one day. People said, <laughs> you fucking drinking that, that shit that foul, thirsty as hell. And and look, people would drink that because that's the trend to drink it. If that don't do nothing for you, that's not that's not for you. That's mm-hmm. People will go drinking and fuck up their kidneys for no reason mm-hmm. because they wanna fit in. Wow, nigga, put them diamonds in over, over they goddamn mouth, over they down, over they damn teeth. Now they teeth rotting. Let mm-hmm. me. I want to go. But veneers, they <coughs> shave down your teeth when, when they do veneers. Yeah, but they? you can last though. You know, you can put the implants in there. Shout out to B King, taught us they can put the imp- take them out, put the yeah. implants. In. That's cool. You know what I'm saying? But you go get them all rotten ass diamonds in your damn mouth and put them over your teeth, and your teeth is pearly white. What are you doing? <laughs> I want to ask you about the documentary before you get out of here. Mm-hmm. I just want to go back to it. Now, Mo 3's mother, man, who I think out of all the mothers, I, I just, for some reason, I'm drawn to her. Seemed like she's like real cool. Mm-hmm. I'm being real. Seemed mm-hmm. like she real, and she love the music. I love that song she put out. Uh, was that last year? Mm-hmm. Around this time? I said Kyle until put out the one this year. Because she did. She put it out. And What's it was, the name and of that song? It was a No Weapon. Yeah, No mm-hmm. Weapon. It was spiritual. I love that song and I love that's what But y'all know me to she her. was a superstar in her own world though. I didn't know that. She sang in churches. Oh mm. man. That's hard. So that's where he get that singing yeah, from. Yeah, she break churches down. 
Really? Yeah, she's she a celebrity, and, her, and they, they know she come up to them funerals. She go break it down. She can go, I see her sing on YouTube somewhere? She ain't that type of person. You got no, I'm like her song. Can, her song. Her song. You go so you her song. You talk to her about that song. Yeah, you was the one that. Nah, she, you didn't, really she just came out with it. She they had it in the mix, and then once it got to me, I thought I thought making it perfect. We go call prophecy. We go change the beat, and then you know. Oh yeah, because you wanted to make yeah, sure. I, make, I kept saying it got to be perfect. I'm, mm-hmm. You got to be perfect, but now nah, she uh. Yeah, they're on funerals. Oh yeah. Was she on the documentary? Yeah, she is. So she mm-hmm. spoke about certain, you know, mm-hmm. that that because I, I you really don't hear her speak much. Yeah, she's on there. That's hard. I, I'm yeah, really I'm excited, excited to watch his, that. His daddy, his dad was on there too. Uh-huh. Yeah. Is there anybody on there that we would have never guessed that would have been on there? Duke Farrow. He on there? Yes. <laughs> Why? I don't know how the hell he got on there. He ain't no three like that. <laughs> he didn't know three. Uh uh-uh. uh. Anybody else that you disagreed of them being on there? No, nah, is there that Sky Sky on her the publisher? She on her. I mean, she she was a, a publisher in Dallas. She on her. And everything that was said was factual to your knowledge. No, nah, it was some bullshit that they were talking about. With, uh, <laughs> <laughs> like what did what did you not agree with? Everything not gonna be perfect yeah, though. Be perfect. I know, but what did you not agree with? Um, that somebody said. I just gotta watch it. Number come back and tell y'all. <laughs> Cause we at the end of this interview, so this part gonna be like part twenty two. So then, then we I just come back for part one to, <laughs> to part twenty two. <laughs> you know, you know, you well, you got a whole series about to come out. Yours gonna drop because I don't never drop your full ones a lot of times. I know you know. You do, you I know. be holding them back because I know already when I drop them, I'm I'm growing my numbers and people gonna be like tune in, tune in. You're. <laughs> Look. People don't understand that when people be like, "I want to no. come on your show, I want to come to your show," I'm like, "If you wait longer, when our number more people see you, yeah, 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 real talk." But I'm just telling you, man. Uh, kudos to you, man, for even playing part in in in, in doing the things that you do when it come down to keeping this legacy alive. Hey, the, the hardest, dude was super talented, bro. Nah, but the hardest thing to do, they got to rate me number one when I was a manager. I ain't no manager no more. But the hardest thing to do is put together. This man is a rapper that's not her. That's something. That's the hard, hardest thing, and 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 people not understanding that because you know, I'll eat beats on this, and I got a whole, I got a whole documentary myself coming out. We be putting this album together. Wow, that'll be hard too. Oh, it's a bad motherfucker. But all these songs I couldn't use. Why? The beat sound outdated. This sound outdated. Uh. It was a, a where Motri recorded a lot of songs. We ain't, we couldn't get a lot of files for them songs. We still ain't got a lot of files, like a, over a hundred songs. Wow. Uh, they they holding them. Um, so you, I got to work what I got. Yeah. Can you change up? Not say change up the songs, but say he did a song on an outdated now outdated beat. They got find the You files. can take his Vo- boy vocals yeah. off and put it on a, a that, newer beat and what, switch that, it up. That's what I do. I, I get the acapellas, and then I send them to like five different producers. And then whoever win, that's what. I'm so I had a producer the other day say, "Man, if Mo Three was her, you won't be doing this shit. He won't be doing this shit. I know because because he wouldn't agree with you. No, because he uh, wouldn't have to. He, he wouldn't have pick he, him. he would have to. Yeah, yeah. He no, no. But but they, like a lot of songs he did three four years ago, that, that's outdated. Mm-hmm. If he was her, he would have picked that song three four years ago going to the album. He didn't. So now I got to work what I got. Who the hardest producer in Dallas? Uh, hood. The hardest hood. Hood. Hood, the hardest Hood producer never, in Dallas. Yeah, that's that's, 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 my, that's my. Ain't nobody favorite. harder than Hood. I don't think, nah, nah, yeah, nah. Cause I can call this nigga in the middle of the night. He go jump up and make a beat. He own it. Oh, he just made bumpy a bunch of beats. I heard you said something on an interview um, that th- with this new album that's coming out, a lot of his street guys gonna be mad about it because it's not that type of album. Uh, it is, but it ain't. How many street songs are on this album? Or will be on his album. Like three. And the rest of it. So that's all the 10 is what? It's commercial. The girls go like it. The uh, It's another crowd go like it. Like, it go show how talented he is. Like, There's a lot more singing on this? Nah, it's, yeah, it's, it's the rapping, but he talking about like, he's talking about the aftermath of the street wars he went through. Okay. Like, like, he talking about, like, a lot of these songs was, were 
was when he went got out the street wars of North Dallas. Do you think that these songs going to change people's lives? Yeah. Yeah, because they're going to understand. They understand. I'm going to preach to them. I'm going to tell them. I watched the, I watched the person, Mo3 three, Mo three Life, he he did his purpose in, in the world. He told his story and touched lives. And now it's your job to... Help him get it out there. Wow. Help, help my purpose. Mm-hmm. Now he's the number one rapper that ever came through Dallas. Do you think that you, your job will ever be done? Because with the five albums that you said that's going to come out, and knowing you, you're going to stretch this out uh-uh. 10 years. Nah, I ain't going to do that. But after all of the five is done, are you going to just be done with Mo3 now? Uh-uh. Then we got to move. He's going to keep his legacy alive. <laughs> so you, you have enough things that you can keep his legacy alive for the rest Man, of... Man, I just seen I just seen a while ago over 50 hours of unseen footage. I know that with, with, with my boy. You know, I'm the only one that ever interviewed him. I always say that. You know that, right? I'm sitting over there. I said, bro. <laughs> Prophets and film. Shout out, baby. That was 2012. That's the first time I met Mo3. I got there right there. Damn. You got it all. What? I like, believe. Yeah, I got the, the, a real documentary. Then to come back with this movie, I'm going to tell the whole story. Wow. You can narrate it if you wanted and to. And then people around him going to be so mad. Wow. Because they're going to be like, I, he gave me a chance, and after he died, I ain't do nothing with it. I, I got mm. to, that's that's real because he, he the best person I'm gonna put it right there he the best I'm put that on my page he's the best person that ever came out of Dallas Texas ever in hip hop he's the only person with a billion streams a billion plays on his YouTube uh, he got the only person to have a gold album Ice T or D O C didn't have a, a gold single album with him by himself uh, he got three songs that's double platinum and Post Malone never had it. Um, I'm not sure. I don't look at Post Malone as the as the core of Dallas because he moves. This, this is a person that was Dallas, Texas, from the day he came in the rap game to the day he died. And and yeah, it's it's the it's the and when he died, the whole Dallas, Texas wasn't the same. That's if Post Malone right. died right now, we gonna be still the same. Mm-hmm. They ain't gonna impact us. But Mo3 died, it still like the same. I got to ask you about, you called me one time, you said, man, yeah, I'm going to go on the, uh, this this uh, clubhouse uh-huh. with WAG 100. Yeah. Now, and when you went on this clubhouse with WAG 100, they got all these people on there, and they start talking from different, I don't know if it's a cheerleading squad. I don't, I don't really, I don't understand how he, how he do it, but it's it's like all these people in the room. I've never been on a clubhouse in my life, mm-hmm. okay? But I'm like, dang, so I listen to it the next day when it come out on mm-hmm. you, know, and I hear y'all go back and forth, man. How do you feel like you came out when it come down to dealing with WAG 100 I, one-on-one? I lose, but I win. Why? Because... I lose it. it. You can't. You can't win in that atmosphere. But then you win by everybody know your name and, and your point. That makes uh, sense. I got out of there. And, I got out of there and told them everything negative on your page. Yeah, I was on your belly, naked on Clubhouse. <laughs> so that's the truth. He got a big platform, and and don't help upcoming artists. Wow. So how do you end up being on there with him? Do he call you as people reach out or what? How do you, like, uh, I'm going to be on the clubhouse with this nigga. He's one of his people, was, his people used to inbox me, so, like, Wack want to talk to you. Wack want to talk to you, Wack want to talk to you. So, you know. Um, then I get on there, and me and him end up in an argument. But I, I know why he mad, because, you know, I won't line. I, I, I saw him double platinum now. So he's still he's still trying to figure out how you how you beat him out. Yeah, he'll go like that chain around your neck. <laughs> <laughs> so he didn't see that coming. Uh-uh. But he he says that he promoted it. Uh, if it hadn't been for him doing his version, it's always a place where he feels like y'all the version you have you had came out, and then Hills came out a, a while later. And right. Mm-hmm. That's the way he think it happened. He came, nah, but you say no, nah, y'all, y'all knew my version was just 
Y'all tried to steal the song. They, they, no, they tried to override my song. I song. They tried to override it. They tried to. He knew Blue Faith was a big, ver, a big, bigger artist than Mo Three. Mo Three was here, so he wasn't here to promote it. So he was like, "We used to go still drop eyes, and we gonna do what it do. I'm gonna pay for this radio, and then you know eyes gonna be bigger. But you know, at the end of the day, Mo Three friends came through." Feel you. Shout out to Bobby who gave us the opportunity to um, to uh, me and Wack to get the money we got and the place we got off that song. Wow! So you shouting Bob? You shouting Bobby Billions out? Yeah, I shout out to Bobby Billions though because he gave us. We all ran train on this song. So do you think you and Bobby Billions uh, ever 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 link again? Uh, I had a conversation with Bobby not too long ago. That's hard. Mm-hmm. What was that conversation? <laughs> she I'll into try, that. I'll try to see how humble he was. He humble, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, sure you humble when you ain't get yeah. <laughs> when he not what? <laughs> you play too much. I needed him to do something. I need. I needed him to do something. Yeah, I got the first thing. He did it for you. I ain't need him no more. After I heard his, I was trying to see how humble he was. Oh, then you just wanted to see how humble he was. Uh -huh. I, I, like I said, when, every time I met him, he seemed like yeah, a cool I dude. I guess he wasn't as humble as you wanted him to be. Yeah, he was. That's why. That's why I was proud of him. Oh, okay. Yeah, you, you ever whoop one of your? You ever whoop some ass around your house? And you go back in that room, and say and you feel sorry. You better not do it again. You gonna do it again? Oh, I'll make sure you still remember that ass whooping. I'll try to remember. I'll try to make sure you remember that ass whooping. <laughs> so, do you think you'll ever rock out with him again? Nah, yeah, nah. Never do no more music mm -hmm. with him. My, my partner, kids, got to see that in years. Goodbye. So you said you one, you feel like I, it was really a plot to stop the movement of Mo three. Yeah, he tried song. to. Yeah, portion of that uh -huh. song. Uh, Mo three, you know, he he was over, he was override by the Mo three nine. Everybody who went against Mo three haven't did nothing. You peep that? I've been checking out everybody. It's been silent in Dallas. I do know that. Yeah, everybody. I mean, it ain't like except, except for the people that even the people that were around Mo three. It's been kind of it's been kind of quiet compared to the hits that used to come out. Man, these niggas, right, 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 I get away from these niggas, man. Like I say, the waiting around. For the, the what about Big X? Is he is he the one? I talked I, I talked to him. I talked to him, and uh, he a big. He, 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 His uh, voice is dope, bro. Nah, he cool, but it's uh, he got a lot of confidence. So I start playing. He got he 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 could do it, bro. It cool. You think he can do it? And then I got a little tweak something. Got a little tweak, so don't get caught up in that fame. <laughs> that fame, that that fame is drain. Yeah, it ain't easy, is it, man? Uh 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 uh. -uh. Don't get caught up in the fame. That fame is drain. Yeah, and you be stuck. This the Mavericks guy right here. You know he goes. You know what I'm saying? This is Mark Cuban's. Uh, uh, this is the guy. But be they at all the games. get caught up in it. Ooh, they wait. all get caught up in man, it. Man, listen. Uh, the twosies. I don't know, I remember 10K. 10K, he was hot. I call that nigga, told that nigga, man, this nigga, he, nigga, 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 he was talking that shit. Mm -hmm. Mo, matter of fact, three called two 10K to come to the House of Blues, right? And that's when 10K was hot. So he inboxed 10K, told him to come to the House of Blues. And so 10K said, all right, I'm there. So we made a fly for 10K. He called three back and say, no, 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 I ain't performing. I charge for that. <laughs> I swear to God, I swear uh -uh. to God, and I'm sitting there saying, "Nigga, your shit just a a, a season." He couldn't tell him that. Did you tell him don't, them. Them to don't bother to even come. All of them, yeah, don't even come. All of them. Go to TV, took all the artists over there. No, I told, I already told. I already told. I'm cool with a lot of them. I'm cool, Miley, Miley, my partner. You know, it's straight up. Miley was my partner. They thought they all made it. All of them. Don't get caught in the fame. Even the people I just got, I, I got them a deal. Just last year. Sure. Don't get caught All the three people that I got a deal for Empire. So do you think they're they, they not staying hungry? You got to know what you want in life. Some people don't know what they want in life. I won't. I, or I, some I, people get that upfront money and think, nah, okay. it ain't, it ain't, it ain't about the money. It's the fame. The fame. See, some people lose their mind over fame, but really, they ain't really got no money. Damn. So you got to know what you want in life. That's real. And what you chasing. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of people, majority of people always say, I just want enough that I can 
supply for my family. I can put my mama in the house. Yeah, I can do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. That's the main thing a lot of people. Yeah, yeah I don't want to. That's the generic. I'm trying to take over the world. That's real. If you if you comfortable with still sitting here in Dallas, Texas. Yeah, you know you you got a better you then you gonna get your warehouse job and become the manager. Seventeen years I work at Free to Life. But is the music enough? I'm thinking about branding. I've been telling my wife that today. Mm-hmm. I'm like that brand got to be popping. The no, whole it's brand talent. is talent. Talent enough. is that's ta- what is we were talking about. Talent, yeah. don't talent have, enough. Your talent don't have to be enough. It could be your grind. That's what I'm thinking. You don't have to be the most talented person. You just got to outgrind the rest of the crew, mm-hmm. the pack. I always think about George and them when they were passing out them damn CDs and pushing that yeah. stuff on people. Man, it them niggas no, was, nigga wasn't talented. They was yelling. Mm-hmm. <laughs> a boot jumped yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah, they was, just, <laughs> they was yelling and yelling, but George put it in them people's face. I bought a bunch of that stuff, yeah. man. Yeah. Mike Jones. Run. Another one. He, he, was on he really out. couldn't rap like that, but he put I it. I don't know about that. I like Mike Jones, Mike Jones man. was just marketable I, and kept yelling at That nigga rap, man. man. But, but, uh, uh, Name three Mike Jones songs. Man, that nigga had the first round draft picks. Mm-hmm. Uh, who is Mike Jones? And what's the next one? And uh, that did good. That did good. Mm-hmm. Uh, Cuddy. Five, uh, so you don't know. What's yeah, that's Cuddy. Ain't uh, it? What was his number? Two eight one three three zero eight zero zero four. You had to think about it. He branded his number and branded himself. Mm-hmm. But and he branded who Mike Jones? Who Mike Jones? That era was a different era. They were making money off them albums. That nigga was rapping on everything that come yeah, out. Yeah, but he branded himself. By his number. Mm-hmm. That's what everybody know him for. All the kids. Mm-hmm. When we was young, man, that rapper just gave out his number. We up there college. I'm going to be in the school college for no reason. That. Yeah, we up there college. So he brand, these niggas ain't branding themselves. They don't know how to brand themselves. That's what I think about a lot. Because I'm like, man, rap ain't going to be enough. Everybody rapping, man. Yeah, everybody. Everybody rapping. everybody rapping. So at the end of the day, uh, but let me I, made it, listen, I made it cool in Dallas to do interviews. Oh, you you killing the interviews though. But you talking about everybody. Everybody rapping. can't do interviews though. You you can't say that. You might be cool, no, but no, it may be cool, but everybody can <laughs> deliver. Yeah, they but I'm saying deliver. I made it cool for. I started seeing all kind of people just doing the interviews now, like all kind of people. <laughs> but you got to think about it. Podcasting has become a thing now, so you Bob see Supreme platforms ain't everywhere. Nowhere on my oh, motherfucking level. Oh damn, Bob Supreme. <laughs> Bob gets the big <laughs> shout out. He just gave the butt a big shout out. That nigga, that crazy, man. He, he said you sent that letter, man. I mean that uh, text, man, and said he yeah, was the police, yeah, man. Them people neighborhood, them cameras. <laughs> your ass, take your ass home. You and know, <laughs> you be messing with Supreme, man. All them people, all them people, what's called with them damn cameras? Take your ass home. <laughs> Since what? you're running a label now and uh, you've been in this business a long time, yeah, Bob, come film for me. <laughs> he doing, a, he doing. That's what he doing. He doing a document. Yeah, come shoot some videos and shit. He did him a document. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. Come, yeah, come follow me. Do you, you I mean, would news? you ever work with? Would you ever sit down with? with, with yeah, already yeah, let me know you hate him. But y'all might y'all never met yeah. like that. How you y'all y'all used to talk a little bit, but y'all never yeah, just hung out. Bro, I read you you already seen the call, bro. It's so many people in my phone right now that hey Ray, I want to work with you, work with you. Uh, all them artists, hey send me ten thousand, I work with you. Man, I just send me ten thousand. What what I get out of ten thousand? Nothing. You just get my attention. Man, old bitch ass nigga, you this and that, you this and that. <laughs> That's why Mo three was this and that, this and that. I bring the hate out. I would rather for bring the hate out of them before. I even work with them. I, I get it because yeah, so you, you know work who they though. Are. I know what I'm facing. You know who they are. You know what I'm saying? I ain't mad at you for doing that though because you will see if a person want to put skin in the game. I know that from working yeah. with people. But a lot of people do that though. Somebody else came on our show and said they did that. Everybody um, should be They doing wanted it, to, to work with you. somebody and he said, um, Give me a thousand dollars. Give me yeah. that was Sir Charles Jones and bad news. Yeah, that's what so it was. That he went. Want he went. He said, "Hold on, let me he go went get got it. the money. He yeah. went and got the money and gave it to the him. The people that go get the money, this and that, because at the end of the day, they be like, bro, you want some money? I understand because a lot of people, you think I'm finna even stop what I'm doing, invest my time into what you got going on, but I you want to invest yourself in mm-hmm. what you got going on. Exactly. That's real. You know what I'm saying? I'm finna stop what I'm doing and invest my time. But you ain't gonna do the same thing for yourself. Which you run a label. How important is it to um, pay for advertisement? Do you believe in that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. when I say paid for advertisement, I mean like you have an artist. I pay the bloggers. 
No, I'm saying, hold on, you oh. have an artist because I see so many artists who are buying views, buying oh, followers, no. buying all of that to look a certain way to yep. capture yep. Yep. Um, with the labels to look at them, capture an audience. But they can tell, What's right? the importance of doing that if you can look at that and you see... You remember, the, that, you remember that one dude came through here? I remember him. I know exactly what, what you're to talking him? about. That that what happened to him. K Tom. K Tom. That was his name. K Tom. Well, yeah. a million views he had, and Drake inboxing him and shit. Hey, yeah, that shit gonna come back around on you. <laughs> keep it solid. And keep it solid. Why no is fun. everybody doing it if it's not they, they, beneficial? They not chasing the rap dream. They chasing the clout. You gotta understand what you want. You gotta understand what the rapper want. So you know, sometimes you gotta understand what type of level they on. So it it doesn't bring the labels. The labels don't Hell look nah, at that. They tell you, if you go through your comments and go through your goddamn followers and you don't see nothing but Indians and white people and all kind of shit that people don't talk, yeah, you bought them all. Yeah, you right. I ain't I ain't lying. I see it. I be seeing. I be like, damn. I ain't, I can't go that route. I done been asked by people too. That hey, nigga man. had a million followers and and, and nobody. I ain't heard. I ain't heard from. I ain't heard either. from him. Have you? He ain't been doing nothing no more, huh? Mm-hmm. Damn. You know, we need to go ask a million people to follow him. <laughs> <laughs> man, thank you for coming on the show, right? Hey, man, thank y'all for liking and subscribing to our channel. I also appreciate y'all for getting us to 100,000 uh, subscribers, man. Shout Share out to our page, please. Sharing our page and all that, man. Rain, man, appreciate you, man. You was a lot. You built that page up a lot with me, man. You always come through, man. Show love to us, man. And thank you. I appreciate you. Hey, you're welcome. We're going to rock out with you, though. We ain't even done nothing yet. We gonna we got to do something. It's, it got to be big for Rain, though. <laughs> we, we don't Rain. We, we might have to do something. You know, we'll throw a party. Rain mm-hmm. used to like a party. You know? <laughs> That was a promoter. <laughs> That's all it was. It's mm-hmm. always about the business for you, uh-huh. ain't it? Man, check it, man. So how can people get a hold of you? I got to sit do the, the He spell. don't want nobody How can people get a hold of you, man, if they want to get on your label, man? You just got to see them? Yeah, y'all might, you can run it to me, man. If, if you outside, I'm going to run it to you somewhere. Man. Because you outside. I'm outside. I'm outside every day. I can't help myself. <laughs> man, check it, man. Hey, man, it's been another great, great episode. Of Boss Talk 101. Bam. Boss's Talk. Bam. And we out.